Hello everyone! Welcome, 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 welcome. We are here with King Pop Cop 22. And this is, of course, going back to our conquest format. We need Daddy yeah, Cat Mothership, right? And we got that sprite back! Back from a long departure, back from a long departure of the conquest format. About a month since we've done the conquest tournament. Uh, yeah. Thanks to delays and whatnot. But we're back! We got that conquest. People like it. Sometimes. Some people wanted the same format times. again. But you know what? We got conquest. We're used to it. I saw complaints. People didn't understand the rules of the other one. So you know what? Here we are. In this tournament here today, we've got 17 participants for everyone to watch. I can get the bracket on screen for you all. Uh, in round one, we will have Memphisto versus Dova. Nation, uh, video gamer versus Kishina Ashura, Rush Second versus Sid Twenty Seven, Z Grifter versus Acer, uh, Nuclear Goo versus Croker, Gray Wolf versus Gandalf the Pink, Darian versus Epps, uh, our Angry Snail versus Sha uh, Shao Jun, and on the background getting his buy for this round is Jetamac. And we are going to watch Gamer versus Keishin. Well, their bans are in, and they are both, of course, banning the APAP. Of course. Of course. But on top of that, uh, Gamer bans the Ratbow from Keishin. Oh, okay. And Keishin bans the Mordar. Okay. That's fair enough. Interesting that you choose to ban the Ratbow. It's also got a couple of them big cards like Defenso and Cleaver. But we're gonna start off with King Puff versus King Puff. Oh boy, the mirror match. Game of flexing his Memphisto skin. That's right. Buy it while you can, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. My, it does go away. That's my mandatory uh, sellout. We can we can cast now. <laughs> that skin will be going away at the end of the season, so that is a good point. I gotta go a couple of months. But of course, Gamer, ever the one with a high card collection, you're gonna have the Christmas bells playing every time he plays a card. Well, who doesn't want that? Well, it's kind of June, but you know. <laughs> Two defensors going at it uh, on the bottom lane. Yeah. He managed to kill it in time. We've had a mostly mirrored play, other than the spear throwers that came through the top lane from Tishan. As opposed to gamers, uh, scrap pack. Mm. If it weren't for the lack of tempo, Beam would have been a good play there. Mm -hmm. On that bottom lane. Would have at the very least found value. But of course, uh, Beam would do doesn't spawn any minions, so. That's but a good But it does though. get some face damage in. We'll the have the Prowler come in from behind with that pounce damage. Now in the hot new shade of green. Yeah. Doesn't blend in quite in as well. This season, literally. <laughs> and thanks to Is a trick swap. Is that on the top lane? It's gonna defend it against the drone buzzers. Big. Oh, not with that Morgul. Yeah, not with Morgul, Brocken. And Gamer is gonna let his Shaolong fall now. Gives Keishin control of the bridges. Mm -hmm. Keishin having some good bridge control early on here. Uh, they're about even on EXP though. So, Gamer's still managing to hold yeah. it when it matters. It seems pretty unfortunate for Keishin that whenever they've held onto the bridges, the XP just isn't ticking away for them. Not holding onto them long enough, or just the bad timing. It's the bad timing. It ticks every four seconds. You don't need to yep. hold it for four seconds. Mm hmm. So theoretically, if you have really bad luck, you could be waiting just, just on the eight seconds to get your experience. Just likely what happened here. Mm -hmm. And if there's one person that knows how the EXP system works, it's Gamer. Uh, I bet he's happy about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, in most mobile games, we'd see Keishin just a little bit ahead now in experience, but they're dead even. That's right. Same health as well. Oh, Beam, Beam only going to catch though. one buzzer. 
I think he wants the pressure more than anything, because that puts Keishin in quite a bit of a danger range of Buck, too. Not Remember, having uh, the best effects, effects on his shot. minions, though. Rampages for days for Keishin, but we got shields for days for Gamer. Yeah, two and two. <laughs> shields on the drone bus is always good, though. Yeah. Very welcome. Definitely helps him beat that Chao Long without losing anything. Oh, nice Prowler onto the Drone Walker. Scrap I'm gonna twice. save it! Rampage yeah. Prowler to the face! Yeah, I'm surprised I got through after that. I suppose Hushin didn't have the mana after playing the Drone Buzzers. Thought the Scrap and the uh, Plasma Reams would keep the help just a little bit longer, but that's not All the right. case. Keishin's Gonna be another down beam low. on Keishin's face. It's looking bad for him. Here comes the raw on 50 damage. There's two Swarmers. So you get a couple mm. more hits in. Seven. Nope, Gets there it is. Hit the belly. That'll give us game one to Gamer, which hey, leaves him I, with his Rappo. Uh, I, I've said it for a while, Propeller Scrats are a great card against Setsu because it eats up three of her shots. Oh, that's a great card. That card's people sleeping on that card if it's not in drafts or on King Puff. It's a really good card. I would recommend you guys try it out. Yes. No one would have to overbuff it and no one wants that to happen. No, not for a flying minion. <laughs> we don't need Revenge of the Whelp. Revenge of the Whelp would imply anything bad ever happened to that car. Well, it was more to the Dragon Nest. We see the Azali. Yep, we didn't the shields. We had the last tournament, but now we get to see it right away. The game is, can't hide it this time. This That's is right. the format for it. This is Conquest, not Last Master Standing, so. Not doing too much with Azali right now. Hasn't really got the bridges to play around for it. I think some smacks in on face though. Mm -hmm. Some good value for her. Oh no, one scrap gonna tank the Prowler jump to the defense though. And we got the Cleaver going into the back to answer the Drone Walker. That's gonna set him up to get quite a bit of damage out. Especially with the defense. Oh, that's a very good beam though. Yeah, that's 11 mana. Stuffy your beams. Fortunately, mm -hmm. oh, scrap tackle solve the situation. Get a bit of a tempo issue though, but. Yeah. Well, still swing back in gamers' favor. Drone has played uh... in range of the hour long. It's a little bit more damage than necessary. But a good bridge well, swap. Gamer definitely has the EXP advantage, and he's just breaking even on health. So he's going to have to and find some more value to play with if he wants to really win this game. And of course, there's that one juicy bridge on the top lane for Azali to get value off of. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Defensive Chopper's in the way. You get all the buffs on the Scrat Horse. Look at the shields. Even got the Swarmers with it. Absolute nightmare for King Puffadol, but even oh. Morgul. Morgul launches them straight to the face. Keishin in a lot of trouble because of that play. Not too much trouble. It's still quite a bit of damage, but Swarmers helped out a lot there. It took about 400 damage off that push. Yeah, it was a big push to begin with. Yeah, it was. Also, I don't think it's King Puff that has much efficient AoE removal, but it's a Morgul. Got like a Grenadier or something, then we'd be talking. <laughs> a Grenadier and King Puff? Well, actually, no, Flamin would be better, honestly. Yeah, Flamin would have been a better pick, actually, and I don't know what I'm talking uh -huh. about. way better than Shields. That's right. Now Zali's gonna be thrown up top, left alone, but gotta use Daka to remove the Defenso Chopper in her oh, way. Oh, the stun though, no shield! Yep. And Zali's gonna go down without getting off another shield. Not, not a single shield. Oh, the Swarmers. Let's see how long get one last unit out before it goes down. And now the, the bullet's in Keishin's control. Very much so, that King Puff. That King Puff to shine. Yep. Makes all the difference, these rampages and shields. And Gamer will see a, 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 small, smite, a small spike in power at perk 3, but Keishin might beat him to it. And that is a beam oh, not catching anything. That is rough. 
Being a little too greedy ends up with nothing. Full shields. No more go from Keisha now... this time. He's gonna take the shield of Scrabble to the face. Oh, that that's did some... not have to defend so well. That's 100 DPS that got to connect to face for a brief moment. And that's the cleaver as well. That is a and lot that of is damage. A side connecting to face as well. No, oh, Keish. Closer. It's not gonna be enough. Oh, Game the push. Set. That was very good. We're gonna so, see his Valley in tournament play, and it did not disappoint. Let me get them updated for the stream. But that is uh, Eke banning Apep. Because, you know, Apep's not allowed to be played in the tournament. Apep is Apep's not even a master in this game, actually. <laughs> I, I think the trick is that actually nobody knows how to play it. Everyone just knows not to play, how to play it. Apep. <laughs> I think the easiest master in the game. <laughs> the other master at bans is the Mordar. Okay. And then Sid bans the Ravager and Setsu. Masters, so we'll have the Volko we versus the Milloween. We see that Dynasty, Dynasty Milloween from the 2v2 tournament flexing it. He won a tournament? Yep, he won the 2v2 tournament with uh, Westland, I think. Really? He's just now five? Oh, is it five or six people with the Dynasty Milloween skin? So I know Gamer got a second one and gave it away. <laughs> and obviously Cat won one. Isn't that cheating? Wait, no, don't think, I don't think Cat won one. Wait, no, Cat been missing that was the first yeah, where is Cat? If I am please return to the PO box, Beta Dwarf. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's six people with the Dynasty Halloween skin, myself excluded, because I only got it for tournament organization. Mm. Well, oh, we're get going. Get an armored scrap. Ah, oh, never mind. Four armored scraps. When will they be useful? They're really useful in Ravager. In, in Draft. In Ravager. Why does Ravager want them? Because they're just tanky enough to trigger Frenzy. Oh man, all that, all of that 20 DPS. Watch out. And it becomes 30 with the Frenzy. Three of them I, doing I, I that? That's, that's, no. They're actually I mean, fairly the scary. Is just the lack of health. Mm -hmm. But if if you're able to get them there and your opponent wastes like say Daggerfall on them, they're in a lot of trouble. I suppose so. I, I I'm not a believer. I'm going to say they feel more like they punish a new player than anything else. Yeah, we got a few of those cards. Okay, having a decent amount of pressure on these bridges, but Sid's not too far oh. behind. Musketeer doing a little jig trying to get to the, the cleaver. Yeah. It's the huge size of the arcane golem. It's a downside most people don't even think about. Mm -hmm. Scrap tank though. Block the parry. And gotta use the healing shrine to bring it back up. Yeah, sit with those bridges again though. Is Curse Bear proving to be a real problem though? Yeah, Curse Bear seems to. You know, people have started rediscovering that card at the last two matches or anything to go by. Mm -hmm. Good card, can't blame them. Yeah, kind of awkwardly Zhao fell off. Such a fall on the side with a scrap tank in front. Mm -hmm. He can't even hit that with the missiles anymore. Oh, you're gonna use the shock rock just to clear up the back line That's a little bit, but it's also gonna trigger the Shao Long, and now Sid's in a lot of trouble because of it. Oh, it's doing so much damage to the warrior. And there's another spell. Finally goes down. It's doing about 400 to 500 worth of damage from the Xiao Long alone. Yep, and, you know, it also cleaned up a warrior, cleaned up Xiao Long. It did so much work. Nice dagger fall from Sid. He's only really down uh, behind in HP, but of course this is against the Volko, so... It's not a good state to be in. Oh yeah, the Musketeer actually got baited oh, out, now it's baited. not available for the Cleaver. It's a good mind game for Mekke. Mm-hmm, and you can see how sad he was about it. 
Oh, he has the tank of a regular warrior. Not he's, ideal, he's that cleaver's on the now. face! That cleaver's gonna get a second hit in! There's the beam! Oh, oh, oh. And the GG. Beam of Doom secures it for Reke. Just took, you can't take that much damage against the Volko, and the Illusory Cleaver mind game just seals the deal. That is not a good play. That's the optimistic Prey don't have any kind of stun or cleaver play. <laughs> Oh, we'll see the Scott, bridges go course. early to Eke. Scott, of course, despite his amazing DPS, is not good as an offensive guard. He is entirely defensive by nature of his ability. But if you can make it work, you can make it work. I feel Colossus is with Scott just by having a wall or any cheap distraction. Mm -hmm. Of course, wall being your favorite card in the game, but I Oh, yes. Yeah. It's very interactive. Extreme gameplay. You're able to interact with it just as much as your viewers can. We have to have some chat interaction every now and then. <laughs> Wanted to trick swap, but can't while that show longs there. Not that it would have really the done anything. Doesn't yep. really accomplish much though. See, they set it up to push with. Yeah, well, now Sid's taking down that wall. Gets oh. the prowl jump on face too. That wasn't an idea. Damage. The Lucifer will be answered by perfectly Lucifer. by the Morgul. girl. Didn't even take damage himself. And he takes the top bridge again. Mm -hmm. Morgul girl doing a lot of work this game. Might have been an opportunity for a beam on face though. Okay, now he's not for a beam on face. He's gonna take it. Yep. Morgan moves out of range, but he's got a scrap tank. He doesn't care. Oh, the wall, though. Wow. Yeah, okay, they're gonna be at that. But we see another aggressive Scott, and Sid doesn't actually have any mana to deal with this. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Not her DPS on the face. So he's got nothing for this. Needed to keep those scraps yeah, just for the 20 DPS. And he's gonna stand back up and do a little bit more. Yeah, but that's a thousand damage easily. You've gotta have something to answer that Scott. Just sneak the it in, and here comes Rammer off. now. He's got a prowler. And he connects to face. The now Prowler's in trouble. Looking like it might die. And there's the spear throwers to save it though. Sith actually got a huge experience lead on Eke right now. Hmm. Yeah, he oh, really does. I didn't think he liked that play. And despite that Scott dealing so much damage before, Sith's still up on health. Yeah, oh, drops the. Oh no, Scott! <laughs> Scott almost cried. And Sid's learned his lesson from last time. He's not giving that Scott as much as a chance. No, not this time. We'll try to stick a scrap pack in under these out long, but the taunt from Scott actually stops him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, no, no. A but that's now. a yeah, I, I was gonna say that's not a good one. Oh that prowl is Oh managed to get oh, it! Look at him go! Just barely got it in time. Yeah, that was like that was a minimum range prowler jump right there. Mm -hmm. That's as close as it gets. Gonna drop the ball to take up everything, really and Scott will clear it all up. He's looking for that sweet spot. He finds it for the oh. beam. Oh no! But this is just fire. It moves on. It's too late. And now there's a Scott to answer. And a fire up. Flame up. Yeah, fire up might help. Oh, That's 200 on the face! Oh, Here comes another one! Yes! Oh, Scott's crying though. Yeah, he'll Morgul take up. There goes another us. flame him shot. Sid's in a oh, lot of trouble. Low. That's it. That's beam. That's, yeah, there's a beam. Just took too much damage here at the end. The scrap pack pulling Scott out of the fire might have been the worst thing he could have done. Mm -hmm. Gotta answer that, Scott! <laughs> Well, well, here's what we got for our bands. Grave Wolf's Apep is banned, and so is his Mordor. So you got that right. Yep. 
Rush's APEP is free. What? You can get banned? That's right. Oh dear. His rap his Ravager did get banned. And it was okay. his rat bow that got banned instead of the APEP. It has the combustion. And then we got, like, caught a very short glimpse of it in one of the tournaments. We're like, what the hell is that? And it was when it was combustioning someone's face. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Of course, Rush Second goes with the APEP. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Punish him APEP for not betting it. Billowing. I think, actually, the Bloodhounds deck might not be that bad against APEP. It all depends on what that future present gives. Let's that could be out. a that could be a magma storm, and th those imps are just terrifying. Oh, it's armor scratch. Um, I'm going to give the right. favor to Grey Wolf on this one. Yeah, that's not. I mean, it's a one mana card, but you're not gonna get much value out of it with an APEP. Mm -hmm. It's an annoyance. It's also free blood imps food. <laughs> yeah, basically. And every time those blood imps get played, that's going to be the healing buff coming out. So that's two cards for two mana. Yeah, just trying to control that cycle. I suppose the rapid cycle also gives them the old penalty win condition of just getting the arc angle of extremely high level late game. Mm -hmm. And the the other benefit is this is a nice cycle. Oh, that shock oh, rock actually kills it. He has to play a stint to secure that bridge. Way to go, Gray. That was amazing. Why is that what? Now, Curse Bear. Off the mark. It is a oh! Yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with that. He wants to keep that Arcane Golem alive. He's winning all these trades just to make sure that he starts building up an EXP advantage. No, the next Arcane, Arcane Golem. Golem. Comes out. Actually, somewhat stats. keeping up with the cycle of Rush right now. Yeah, XP is pretty much dead even. Everything's too much dead even right now. There's a shock. Nice rock. cycle of his own. Gonna use the wall to take everything up. That costs two mana, then. <laughs> oh, it's a juicy defensive chopper, though. Do we actually see a beam from Grey Wolf? That's right. He wants it all cleared. But it's not gonna find enough, are you? Bridge is back. Oh, Armored Scratch! They take him out the scope the Swarmers. There you go. Hashtag value. Value. It is value. Now we have perk two available for Grey Wolf. Arcane missile is now ready to go. I mean, in the meantime, Rush gets his shield totem. That's not going to have as much of an impact on the board. Mm, Rush has both these bridges though, but. Great old spam comes on out. Oh, here comes that Dragon Ball. It's going to find a lot Ooh, of value. Six, painful. 600 damage back to the face. Even Arcane Missiles of Dragon, he doesn't want to take more damage. The Grey Wolf, he's losing his bridge control game right now. Actually, maybe not too much. It'd probably be an experience advantage at this point, but no. Eh. And it's probably find just enough range support. There's going to be a beam, beam dedicated. Grey Wolf. That lone crossbow dude, no, it doesn't take the bridge. So nope. instead of us being a bit wasted. Oh, Rush got a black hole just to hold the bridge. Rush going to play very aggressively to keep up the Grey Wolf, but he's finally starting to pull ahead in experience. Mm -hmm. Which is not the way I expected this to go right at this point of the game. Grey actually struggling to stay on the board. Maybe I underestimated those uh, armor scratch. Actually, very good against a deck that only has two mana cards. Yeah, decent value for one mana. I think it's exactly what's making uh, Rush win this game, though. I think it oh, might have something to do with the beams. That are he just popped on the fire and damage. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna walk into the defense, so. That's a big problem. Here comes Dragon Ball as well. Grey Wolf down to 500 health, but it doesn't take him much to get back into the game. He does have the heal puff after all. Oh, the stint not going to be able to shoot the heal buff. 
Trying to get everything onto that bridge. The oh, heal is still down. alive. Finally goes on. down. Oh, where's the beam? Where's the beam when you need it, Grey Wolf? <laughs> That's a big beam at the bottom bridge. There it is. There it is. Clears it all. And Grey is now up to 850 and another healing buff's entering the bridge. Here comes Dragon Ball, though. Oh, good wall from Ruck Seconds. Don't the Arcane misses. You're actually protecting that Arcane Golem. This is huge for him. The Spin Arcane Golems are a massive threat to deal with. Uh huh. Now instantly level 5. Look, it's just one shotting everything. Level 7, level 6, there's we'll the arcade missiles. Back here. Oh no! The fire of actually gets saved by that black hole. Oh, that's a very dangerous Blood Him Speed plane. There's gonna be a fireball on it. And that's a GG call from Rush. That's a kill. Oh, unfortunate. I think Gray will punch the miscalculate how much health he had left. Uh, he, he was a little cocky with that play, and he got punished for it. So that's going to leave Rush with the Mordar. Michael, they should bring. Uh, they should heavily consider the future cards. Isn't here. that like every master in the game? I mean, Mordar. The only one I can make a case for is Mordar. Mordar and Ravager are the two that, eh, they're okay with having an expensive deck. Well, even then, the future present's nice on Ravager because you can use it to back up uh, Brutus for free. Or cheap. Eh. There we go. Rocking that Christmas skin in June. Look, man. Christmas starts in June. Yeah, Haven't you been I'm to the stores? Retail stores of mine as well. <laughs> They're gonna roll up some bridge capture. It's gonna be Dragon Ball, actually. Which doesn't even take the bridges. No. Nope. second, this did not want any of that damage. And here comes Troubadour. Gonna well, grab the whelp, gosh, even. Man. Oh, whelp's actually in range of Ravager. It's huge for Grey Wolf. Perfectly played. Brutus goes the same lane. Now he's gonna get rid of all this competition. Well, it's gonna be a divine warrior to tank up for a bit. Defensive Chopper is ready as well. Unfortunately, that doesn't bring the most damage oh, in for. There's a brilliant thing right as the shield dissipates. Uh huh. Everything's but gone, but Curse Bear. Bear. It's gonna connect to the face though, so you're still getting some value out of this. Maybe Might two get a second. Be yep, second hit. It's yeah, quick 500 it's damage. some value for Grey Wolf, but the Curse Bearer. Uh, it's gonna be the bane of his, his, his the existence this game. Yeah, we're gonna die through the sniper. Uh, now, he's gonna have to play that Dragon Ball every time for the Zeppelin, it looks like. He's playing it and trying to get the bridge of it now, though. The Ravager, that time. Ravager, aka Stubby's having some trouble dealing with Drone Walker. Yeah, that Dragon's dealing havoc, and no, the Curse Bear gets pulled onto it. Well, as long as it that goes down quickly, little. Frenzy might make up the difference. But there will be another Curse Bear. Oh, there's a Strat Launcher. There you go. The More face. So it is Mordor, so she's gonna hit Tombstones. Oh, Tombstone's gone. Now it's going back to the face. Oh, Cleaver oh, gonna find isn't it. Oh, enough. Played too close to the bridge. And that There's is big beam cleaning mode. up everything. That's like 14 mana. But unfortunately, he doesn't have the bridge. It's actually ahead in experience. Mm -hmm. That's where Ravager should be. Especially at this point of the game. You'll see the game quiet down for a little bit while he starts planning his next push. I'm gonna throw the Dragon Ball out at the Shaolong. With that interaction I told you about? Mm-hmm. Yep. That Dragon Ball unfortunately accomplishes nothing for rush seconds. Oh, Troubadour Ooh. not in time to save Shaolong. And Curse Bear ready to go. Troubadour almost wasted. Troubadour's not doing much for But here comes the Zeppelin. No Dragon Ball available. No Drone Walker available. Just Shock Rock. Here's that Drone Walker. Not gonna be enough. That's, oh, and it gets to hit him. Uh -huh. It was six mana to stop that as well. 
Huge beam again from Grey Wolf. He gets good beam value. But he takes two hits from the Flame Imp. That's a little bit of marching in. And it's real. He's going to throw up Magma Storm. It's not hitting anything. It's not, not hitting good the key enough. target. Nice. Rush takes a set too low. That is very unfortunate. Okay, I'll let you have him, Blister. <laughs> banned APEP and KP. And Z Grifter okay. banned KP and Rapbo. Oh, okay. And Fisto, he's been picking out APEP right off the bat. That includes game wins, not just match wins. But we're not going to see the APEP mm -hmm. off the bat. We're going to see the Wait Rapbo. A minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Did you get the bands the wrong way around? Never mind. Hold on. You got I did. Around, didn't you? I got him backwards. Hold on. <laughs> Get this dip. Okay, uh, since the grip is rolling out of the apex. Then. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, by the way, um, uh, what, what's your theory on Rappo's hair? Is that a wig? What? How dare you? Scratch don't have hair. What are you talking about? Haven't you seen his bullet magazine outfit? I mean, it could just be a really elaborate wig. <laughs> There's some good wigs these days, man. Like, like, like... I, 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 I don't think Scrats have that technology, though. Technology? I mean, he's probably just real hair. He took off someone. <laughs> are you saying that he beat uh, old Rambo? Took his head, scalped him. Yeah, man. That's the this lore. cleaver, this poor cleaver. It's, a, it's, a, it's a official rapper law. <laughs> and yeah, that cleaver wasn't getting anywhere fast against the rapper. Oh, it almost got to face. But thankfully, Bannerman was in hand. It's an interesting sniper squad on rapper. Uh, I I have. Though. I have heard that it's pretty good with him, just due to his sheer swarm, and the, it allows the snipers to build yeah, up. Yeah, that'll, that'll keep the snipers pretty safe. At the same time... I mean, you bring the Bannerman so that they don't die to Daggerfall or anything like that. I mean, yeah. So, so I get, so if you've got, if they're your only card and your opponent has two answers, which they should, then you're in trouble. Yeah, I don't think you've been playing two removal cards for a long time. There's a shock rock. Yeah, he's not gonna have anything else. Uh, I mean, I'm actually not sure what his deck I've looks actually like. Actually, seen shock rock kind of fall out of favor lately. Is that just me? Um, so shock rock really only appears in the meta when. Uh, there's a lot of same mana trades going on, so like Cleaver v Cleaver, or uh, the Boomers are around. And I have seen Reboomer pick up popularity recently, but not so much that it's made a dominant, right? Uh, I'd say Reboomer is probably one of the most off meta cards there are. I've actually seen it a lot the last couple days. What, ladder? Uh huh. What rank? Uh, Grandmaster. Oh, okay. Wait. I feel like I, the problem with the reboot. I feel like the problem with the boomers is it's just very hard to actually get the detonation off against anyone that isn't a new player. Well, when when you when you, people aren't bringing all their reboom or I'm sorry, all their shock rocks, reboomer finds its way. Like they usually yeah, have to use like point. Daggerfall or something like that, and when they don't have that available or they're forced to use it on something else, they suddenly don't have an answer for that reboomer. Yeah. And there's poor old regular boomer. Yeah, regular boomer... That was the last time he was meta. Uh, I'm not sure regular boomer has ever been meta. I feel like he has been, and that was in the old rap boat. It was like, or just... I think it was just Jerry before Fireball was really considered good. I don't, I don't, boomer, the kind of last stand. I think the Boomer has only had a place in Brawl spam decks, and those have never been truly meta. No. 
Freebird in general is just a car. It's only been ever been relevant as an answer to last time. Especially Reboomer, because then you can get some additional value if the opponent doesn't answer it. Well, well, the advan the other advantage of Boomer is that if you're only expecting to get one explosion off, that's when it's effective. So well, when your you opponent shouldn't. when your opponents are packing that shock rock, that's when Boomer is good. You play it the at perfect this game spacing. Is, uh, unless you're in a constructed format, you don't know what your opponent's running. Right. So you can't rely on them not having a move for for reading them. Pretty much. It's it's just meta trends. And see Grifter starting to come uh, come down. He's now down to twelve hundred health, but he's finally got his perk three. Looks like he might. Uh, yeah, he did get a flame up. So he's now got two of them to play with. I can say wrap up. Going up all the way at 10 mana, he's really trying to consider his options here. Well, the problem is that now he has to face down two Flame Imps as a wrap up. Yeah, and it's also the with the Sniper Squad, doesn't want anything to do with that. It's a very aggressive field place as a group that hits a shield. <laughs> That's will be the end of the cleaver. Now, looking into he's in some trouble. He's gonna throw up the shield totem. Nothing's gonna aggro to it, so. Gotta get some work in. And bridge buddies as well. They're, it's trying to create pressure, not really getting anywhere. And that, that's been the story of most of the game, Rest. We're at the six minute mark now, and they're both. <laughs> that Kaliva whip hits three times where it smacks the flame in down. There you go. At least he finally found his mark. Oh, this propeller scrat actually gonna clean up the Shao Long thanks to the help of the warrior. Two of them. The value. <laughs> that is hero scrat right there. Anna's gonna do face damage. Not dying. Propeller scrat don't care. There's the oh. Daka. That'll clean up the cleaver. Z Grifter now looking in a lot of trouble as all this spam comes in, but at the same time he's got flame maps. It'll, it'll take care of the bottom Don't lane for the most part. To keep him safe. They're dropping like flies. <laughs> and that now Rampage Yao Long is certainly not helping. Yeah, even with the double flame ebbs, Z Grifter struggling to find the face of Mephisto. Actually hasn't been able to touch it for a very long time now. Yeah, look like he's going to go down here. The shield card and drops. I don't think it's going to be enough. He's got to clear this field, and Mephisto's about to hit Mana Frenzy. He's already had Mana Puffs on the bridges, and that will be it. That's game one. Seven minutes in, though, so mm -hmm. it's a long fight. And we're going to go right into it. Setsu versus Apep, right as you predicted. Obviously, this is a much more traditional mid-range Setsu deck. Mm -hmm. it's actually, I, I would say that's probably Mephisto's most comfortable deck lately. It's like everyone's most comfortable deck. It's really easy. It's Setsu. Yeah, it's Setsu. It's mid-range. You, you counter the minions and play the cards. It doesn't really get much uh, easier than that. Yeah, but Setsu going to be in a lot of trouble. This is a pretty big push coming in. Yeah, the Flash Green to help chew it up. Yeah, it's still going to take a lot of damage, though. 425 damage before it all goes down. There's Dragon Ball. It'll help chew up the cleaver a little bit, but unfortunately it's in range of APAP. And with the help of Shao Long goes down without being able to kill that cleaver. I'm gonna actually sacrifice a plasma marine so that the warrior doesn't take the hit from the cleaver. And That's Dragon Ball drop to do with the cast barrel. Now we have Setsu, she'll blast entry in and take out the plasma marines, no problem. Ooh, 
Batman managed to save five scraps. Yep. Actually, quite significant. Takes out quite a bit because of it. Yeah, clears up the Setsu, clears up the Warrior. Very good Bannerman. And we have the Battle of the Shell Longs. Only there's one other snake involved. It's big, rugged, and angry. It's ape up. We'll see cleavers coming out. Once. Yep. One from each side. Here comes Dragon Ball. That this one will find much more value than the last one. Yeah, both of them answered wow. very effectively. Wow. And Shockrock will clean up the opposing Strat Horde. And there is that two mana card, that call to arms for free. I think you gotta hold on to that a little bit longer. Yeah. It's a couple hundred points of damage, but it's against the Setsu. It can mean a lot late game. It's, it'll be a very big deal in the late game. Which Although this is a place. Setsu without Beam of Doom, which is generally considered unusual. Uh, I mean, it's got Dragon Ball instead, but... It's sort of the same thing, right? Oh, this... Oh, okay. This Cleaver is going to be answered the same way as the last one. This Blast Entry is going to come in. And land on the plasma marines, but not quite kill him yet. There it finally goes. And there's that call to arms, that free warrior. Now we have the dragons as well. Not going to quite find enough value though. Oh, this one gets a couple of cheeky hits in on base though. We have our slow moving Shao Long trying to find value. Gonna play Cleaver in response, not gonna play the Plasma Marines in time to answer. I'm sorry, to get hit instead. That's it. Oh, nice shot well. killed his Yao Long. Mm -hmm. Barely holds it off long enough. Now it has to deal with Cleaver. Dragon Ball ready, He's gonna go for the shield totem. That's an and that's oh, gonna be a call to arms, nothing. The Grifter actually taking quite a bit of damage because of it. Gets puck free. He gets a bounty sniper. Uh, not going to be what he wanted in this game. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, but it's not what he wanted, I'm sure. Does get a couple shots on face, but that'll be the end of it. And Cleaver answers Cleaver. Well, he's just a Scrat Horde. Most of it gets answered by a Shock Rock. And now Cleaver looks to go face. The Nothing Grifter good in, in hand. Trouble again. There's a Setsu jump on the shield. Yep, there is Perk 3 in uh, effect. Dragon Ball gets thrown at Shao Long, but it actually aggroes onto the face instead. Now we have Either Cleaver. Pull up again. Mm -hmm. Nice ball grow from Memphisto. Uh, that'll the be the end of Cleaver. So a lot of damage to Memphisto. He got the fire some shots back. Yeah, finally manages to find the face and finds it pretty well. And yeah, Memphisto's, Memphisto's hand well actually nice. awkward right now. The Bannerman proving to be quite difficult to answer right now. Actually going to even lose his cleaver, and that's going to put him even further behind. Oh. Yep, just about. As the next cleaver from Z Grifter comes out, if he can find enough value, this might be the game. But at the same time, here comes all the damage to the face. It's going to be distracted by Bounty Sniper. There's that Dragon Ball, and that will finally yeah, be the it's game. just about enough. That's going to be the game. That's 2-0 to Memphisto. Their bans are, um, they're both banning, banning Volvo. Really? Yep, nobody wants to deal with the Volvo. Uh, they're also banning the uh, A-Peep, a a pepe uh, Of course. They're just memeing back and forth. Like, like, <laughs>
And then you got Setsu being banned from Gandalf. Okay, yeah, Setsu banned, I understand. We have our standards. And those standards are Mordar versus Milloween. Yeah. Gandalf the pink. Rocking his Hello Miller. Kitty. That's what Milloween needs. That's just an old image. <laughs> like, I can't help but respect someone who brought that back. Also, Nuclegu with a new avatar. Fancy. Yeah, he's, he's the bringing the tripsies. It's the showdown with what we see the nuclear goo. Ooh, gonna get yeah, the skirt. Can't even any good in I forget. Uh, I think there are builds built around it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Back to the Riot game, though. <laughs> Four showdowns, another topic for another time. That's right. Hey, Claver gonna find over, face. Four showdown speed on tournaments. That quite lends itself to the same crowd. And this yeah, hypnotize could have tried to make something of it, but opted not to. An aggressive score is gonna do quite a bit. Actually, oh, there's a beam committed from Gandalf. That is... really wanted that golem safe. Yeah, well, you didn't want the flame imp to get off the attack either. He killed it just in time. Yeah, I suppose it works out. It's like four and a half mana value. Uh, six and a half, sorry. Eh. Gets risky. There's the Curse Bearer, the Guardian's gonna die now. That's one yeah. dead looking Guardian. But that's okay, because it's Tombstone is ready. Guardian. Oh, not anymore. No, it isn't! Oh, Shrug we're gonna use out. the Healing oh, Shrine. It's, healing it's fine. Healing Shrine counteracts by Nuclear Goo. Now it's a triggered, protected Shaolong. For at least a little while longer, and now Scott oh, try to push it as well. The Scott, it's big trouble. Oh yeah, he cannot let them meet. He has to kill Scott now. It looks like he's gonna get his way. Oh, Cleaver's actually connected oh, to the no, face by the nuclear goose side. There we go. Guardian caught up thanks to that spirit, getting so oh. much damage in. They just. They both took over a thousand damage there. Look how low Nuclear Goo is. Mm -hmm, One that's a dead Arcane Golem as well. This is such an aggressive match. <laughs> I haven't seen the match this quick in ages. I don't think we're even going to see Pug free at this rate. There's a Guardian again. He's just going to beam it now. He doesn't even want to get those tombstones online. Can't risk that Which again. Quite a sensible play, actually. I think that's really good for him. Because that puts Nuclear Goo very low on the tempo department. Right. He's trying to make this Spirit Mancer work. He's going to find some value. Oh, the Shock Rock. I'm not a fan of it. It's a lot not of damage. With the coming Dronewalker gonna try and save the day, but there's Hypnotize! There's hypnotize from Nuclear Goo! Actually gonna find a lot of value because of it. Meanwhile, Scott's gonna try and tear his way through Arcane Golem, and it's gonna he work. He does, just before he even starts crying. Mm -hmm. Need to see a cleaver here. There's a beam committed oh, but for it. a beam from Goo! It is a beam not connecting to face though, which is significant because Nuclear is taking a ton of damage from these swarmers. They're yep. absolutely shredding him. That's actually going to be game. He just needs to wait for this Guardian to get out the way. <laughs> huge misplay from Nuclear Goo. And there is Gandalf that beam. Gandalf was very far away. That's going to be game one going to Gandalf for pink. Don't doubt the Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> kept himself nice and composed that entire game. Very quick match between the two of them. First we've seen in KPZ in a long time. Not 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 in this matchup. <laughs> so uh, if I had to guess, it's going to come down to. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's going to come down to oh, the Brutus. The coaches in this matchup. The, the first Brutus will will see the state of the game, and that will probably decide the fate of the matchup. If the first Brutus doesn't do enough, I think Gandalf's got this. Mordar is generally very good against Ravager. If 
survived that first one, but when he's getting frenzy on his minions, you don't care because you're getting two extra copies of yours. And that's going to be Fireball. Take care of the Drone Walker. Defenso connected to face. Here's ball. that beam. Trying to save the blood. Oh, that beam. Brutal. And Dinoskeleton's going to help stall that Brutus a bit, though, for him. Mm -hmm. Buy him some time. But the Curse Bear is going to be vital. Curse Bear seems to have got a proportion of the amount of ravages in this tournament. He's going to use the Blast Master to try and buy something. Well, it's... Buys him a sniper scrap kill. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately now he has to deal with the second curse bearer, and his Brutus is walking the same way. Yeah, it, it feels like this is what you made by the precedent. It just feels like it's going to be a slow, painful death for nuclear good this rate. Mm -hmm. Did not get enough damage off that Brutus. Didn't get any damage off the Brutus at all. Nope. Pretty much all the damage has been from cards before it. And Gandalf, as a Mordar, against the Ravager that's already had his Brutus, is just a couple EXP behind right now. That's not what you want to see when you're the Ravager player. No, not at all. And here comes Blue Golem. The good news is Gu does have the Red Golem to fall back on. He's got to find some way to make that worth it when he gets there. Against a Curse Bear Mordar. After we call him marching in on face, actually might connect the hit here. No, nope, not quite. Barely, but it gets a resurrect. Yes. That's kind of scary that the, the Golem even gets that close to Ravager. It definitely shows that Gandalf's in the advantage here right now. Yep. We're going to see Gandalf 2 0 nuclear with this fight. He's had a rough tournament. It's not looking any easier. Yeah. This would definitely make Gandalf the dark horse of this tournament. <laughs> Straight into the and top lane, how about that? It's a full health blue golem and a cleaver on the top lane as well. Oh, he's going to throw out the red golem. Doesn't want to even take a hit to make sure it's buffed. And that's going to be the resurrected cleaver. Going straight into a blood imp. Oh, it's painful. Gotta find a second. Golem gets the hit in. And there's Beam, it's going to try and find something with Shockrock. It's going to get the Cleaver rock. low, but not kill it. And throw it away the heal buff. heal buff. There's another blue golem on the bottom lane now with a lot of mana to back it up. Mm -hmm. Not sure this red golem is going to be in time. Especially not with that top lane coming in as well. And not with a curse bearer in the game either. Well, he's going to throw it. And it's almost dead already! Melted. It's gone! It's just dead! And out was a skeleton and the sniper hitting Bruce's face, that looks like it's gonna be it! Mm-hmm. Gandalf the Pink beats Nubigu 2 0. <laughs> well. Okay. Well, they what they just they decided on was they were both banning APEP. Of course. Of course. Grey Wolf bans the Mordor. Okay. And Croker bans the Milloween. Oh, is Cold Swarm's Mordor is available? Mm-hmm. Feed me off meta. And we're gonna have the Ravager Showdown. Masters Lead it off. See Ravager Mirror to start off. I'm just gonna beam face He's just good. before the Shell Long came out. Bad hand, I guess. Yep. Actually gonna tank the cleaver to face. Didn't have much in the way of options, and that's going to be a beam as well. Great going to drop under 2k. He's going to take three cleavers to the face. The bulls on this guy. <laughs> he, he really didn't have a good hand for dealing with the opening push. Oh, no, now the well played here, straight in the plasma This is going to be so light.
<laughs> and Troubadour is going to be a lot of trouble, but the good news is he's quite tanky. The problem is Brutus is in the way. I'm going to throw out a Scrap, scrap Launcher and start doing fast. Those Marines are going to keep retargeting. Very convenient for Grey Wolf. Takes one of those drone buzzers. Yep. And Brutus finally spawns for Grey Wolf. By carrying those pesky plasmines. That Zephyr yep. was actually about to connect the face. This is some serious damage coming from Grey Wolf. Mm -hmm. Now the and tables have turned. In as well. Another t another hit from a Zeppelin bomber. Mm -hmm. That Scrat Launcher found if a Grey ton of value as well. He might be back in the game. He's a tasty beam or a magma storm, something. Maybe he just goes for face. I mean, just stim. There's the oh, beam the on it. He's going for it. He's going for face with a stim of the Brutus. It's not going to be enough, so. though. Now he's got stuff on his face. He's probably going to die from this. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be it. Uh, yep. There's the beam as well. A big risk there. It didn't pay off. That gives Croker the early uh, 1L. Yeah, I don't know about that beam on face, man. What if at least been a better position than that? Let's go. And now it's middle wing versus Ravager. Hmm? Patient starts the game. Yeah, as usual. Oh, we can see a tree with all here from Grey Wolf. No scrap oh. launcher opener. That's <laughs> something you don't see every day and generally considered to be for a good reason, but you know. Lost Legionnaires from Croker. Oh, the wall though doesn't protect it from every Pies Marine, but it's like I'm going to get another hit off at least. Two hits off right as it dies. Actually puts Croker quite low early on. Mm -hmm. 600 damage. For just five mana. Yeah. It's a super beam. It's like it's old beam. <laughs> old Alpha old beam. beam. Alpha beam. 500 damage was it? Yup. 500 damage and it did not amplify against minions. Troubadour unfortunately not accomplishing much here the great wall. Nope, just gonna get hung up on the wall. Here's that beam. Gotta get the Whoa, wall the arcade beam golem beam and prowler. That's a massive beam for Grey Wolf. Unfortunately though, Croker's got the EXP game. Hmm. Zeppelin Lama is just gonna die here to the Marines. Mm-hmm. Chalong will peck the face a couple times, but that'll be the end of him. There's an aggressive prowler coming in, but there's the wolf from Grey Wolf. Should hold everything off thanks to that 50 DPS buff and the stack. Oh, Shao Long Ooh, with the help of Shock Rock. Shock Rock. And Propeller Scratch will hold up the well, protecting Shao Long. And now Croak is soaring ahead in the EXP. Next push start up with oh, Croker ahead. No, he's just gonna playing be around beam. this time from Grey Wolf. He wants that wall dead now. Yes, he does, but unfortunately, that's gonna mean that he has no answer for this Arcane Golem. Yeah, the Troubadour's taking a huge pummeling here. Doesn't have the means to support it. And Croker almost 30 experience ahead now. Yeah, all, he's, all, all Gray really has is this wall and the Plasma Marines, and once those are taken care of, he's in a world of hurt. Oh, gets the, the Shao Long out in time. Marines. There's a huge beam from Gray Wolf, though. Yeah, it clears up the push. Uh, 
then we see Gray finally has access to Frenzy, but Croker is looking towards Perk 3. He's going to play another Troop Lord. Croker plays a lot in the other lane. Look to see what he can find. He's gonna find a pounce on the face, and then Prowler will turn around. Tank the pounce face. Oh, and Arcane Missiles Arcane does Missiles not find the well. Face. Now the wolves drop the Grey Wolf. Yeah, I'm gonna use Prowler Scrats once again to tank up the well. That'll get in quite a bit of damage. Frenzy Plasma Marine's gonna come in, and well, was gonna get some value, but I'm now the there's wolf. a wall. <laughs> Grey Wolf clearly not happy about that Shao Long. There's a beam on the Arcane Gun that was hitting him on face. He didn't have any way to kill that. These little five Arcane Guns gonna be a huge threat. Grey Wolf absolutely freaking out over that Shao Long's range. Gonna throw out the Magma Storm and pray. Never Gonna a find sign. the Flame Imp. Gonna find the Arcane Golem. Gets the Arcane Golem, but he's but gonna now use he's got nothing else. Like that might be the end of the tournament for Grey Wolf. There's a beam on face, and that secures the deal. We might be saying goodbye to Grey Wolf permanently. We'll have to see how the points play out. Uh, we have the results of the final. Uh, or I'm sorry, results of the group stage, I should say. Would you like to run it down for us? Uh... Oh, boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be heartbreaking to say. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. So our top eight in order. We have Memphisto. We have Eke. Actually, Eke with the second best record. He went five and one. Mm -hmm. We got Darian. We got Rush second. We got Acer, Gandalf the Pink, Video Gamer, and Nuclear Goo, and Zagripta. He misses out on top eight by one point.